Hello everyone, welcome back to another daily micro video and today we're going to be showing you how to install and use entity texture features in Minecraft version 1.21.3. Take it away. Yeah, thank you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So to begin, you need the mod and the mod we will be using will be entity texture features or ETF that can also be called like that. To do so, you need to open up your web browser. Here I have Google Chrome, so that will be my web browser. And there will be the links in the description. But what you need to do is first of all go in Entity Texture Features for modern. This we will be using the modern link for most of those just to make it nice and simple. So it is called Entity Texture Features. There you go. Here we have CurseForge ModRenth. I just put the ModRenth link in the description, so we'll be choosing this one. Once we're here, simply go to Versions and select 1.21.3. So it is this one. It has been updated 14 hours ago. Simply click Download right here. But it's not it. To do so, you need to have even more mods because this mod in itself works but you also need to download an other mod which is called mod menu you can find mod menu just by going to the modern website or just by searching up mod menu minecraft up here we have the link again simply go on this mod it will also be in the description simply go to versions and select 1.21.3, this one right here. Simply download that one as well. Now, you need an other thing, which if we go here, we will see dependencies. Fabric API and text placeholder API. You can use ETF without any of these and just a resource pack, which we'll be downloading later as well. But this mod helps you edit ETF inside Minecraft directly so we also need to add Fabric API, which you can find here or in the description as well. Simply go to versions, then find 1.21.3, download it. And then you will have to go back here, go to placeholder API, go to versions, and download the latest one as well, which is right here. And yes, that is a lot of downloads right here. Next. Now that we have all the mods we need, we need the things outside ModVent, which first of all is Fabric. We can't have mods without Fabric Launcher. So to get Fabric Launcher is quite easy. Same thing. Fabric Minecraft. There you go. This will also be in the description. This will be a link. Just click that and click the download blue button. Go to download for Windows if you're using Windows. And here is Fabric Installer. Then we need something which makes ETF actually work. And you don't need it, all these mods if you're only going to be using this. But as ETF has more features, we will have uh, been, uh, uh, we need to download more mods or mod menu, whatnot. So that comes like that. It's all the mods. What you need to do now is get something that works with ETF. So you might have a texture pack already or you might not. What ETF is, it's a replacement for Optifine only texture packs. So if I go to, uh, let's say, glowing mobs, right? if I want my mobs to glow in Minecraft, texture packs cannot do that because it's not part of the vanilla texture. But you can do this using ETF. The way you do it is quite simple. You want a mod, so glowing mobs, Minecraft. There you go. This will also be in the description for this mod. Or this, this, in this case, it's a texture pack, which only works with Optifine right here. But it doesn't only work with Optifine because it works with this. Because this is technically Optifine, but it's not. <laughs> uh, here we go. So here we have glowing mobs. All we do is go to the download button. As this is a resource pack, it doesn't really matter what version you download until the textures in the resource pack matches the ones in Minecraft. So here we have many things. We have resource pack, fabric installer, we have all the mods right here. 
Now we are kind of done with the web browser part of things. So simply close the web browser. So there you go, we're done. And now we need to go to the fabric installer because we cannot have mods without fabric. To start installing the fabric loader onto Minecraft, you need to go to your downloads folder. So you need to go to your file manager and then your downloads folder right here. Here we will see we have an EXC. All we have to do is double click there. And then here we will see 1.21.3, latest update, perfect. Just click install and all done. Now that we have installed this, all we need to do is open up Minecraft. So let's open up Minecraft right here. If the fabric installer gives you any issues, just make sure to download 1.1.3 if you didn't play that version just yet. But as it came out quite like a month ago, most likely you already played the version. If it worked, it will have shown it right here. Fabric loader 1.1.3. What you need to do is to go to the .minecraft folder. And the quickest way of doing that is by going to the installations right here and selecting any one of these, whatever, the select the folder icon and you'll be sent to the .minecraft folder. Now, what you need to do is go to the mods folder right here and it should be empty. If there's any mods, make sure to remove these because they might break. So. Make sure it's empty for the project you want. If you have mods for 1.1.3 and you want to use uh, ETF on top of it, it's completely fine. What you want to do is go to your downloads right here and just select all four of these. Click copy right here. And now go on the top left and it should be a little arrow here. Just click that and you're back to the mods folder. Now click paste. And you're all done. All you have to do is go to Minecraft, go to play, make sure you have the fabric loader that you just downloaded selected, and then just click play. So now we have everything loaded in. Here we can see we have fabric, but we also have something different. 56 mods. Wait, what? Yes, mod menu actually gives you a bit more features. So here we have a mods button that shows up and we can have access to all of our mods. Very useful mod, by the way, because with this mod, ETF has a little configure button right here. All we do, we click this, we can see this, we can see Optifine Compact, anything we can do a lot of things you can go here we can select everything uh if we are like looking at like i don't know uh, a specific model a uh, a player or whatnot we can change all of this we can just go to this we can go to textures we can really change a lot of things with this it's it's a very useful uh, mod this it's a very complicated mod but there's a lot of the tools of so like how to use it but overall, that's kind of what we have here for the actual like mod itself. Now, this, uh, once you have the actual mod installed, well, it's technically done. Right? The mod is installed and you can keep going your project. But let me show you what this mod can do, for example. So here we go to one of our tutorial worlds, whatever, and here it is. Okay, so here we have Minecraft. And remember the resource pack I downloaded? Yes, this was a Optifine only resource pack, but clearly I don't have Optifine here. I just have Minecraft Vanilla with Fabric and this mod Entity Texture Pack downloaded. So, oh, with texture features, whatever. Uh, so here is a mob. If I go to slash time set midnight, here is a mob, right? With a cow. What do we do? If you have a, let me just go here. Uh, if you have glowing mobs 1.0, whatever, this will also be in the description if you want it. And it's up to find only what you do. Well, all you have to do is go on Minecraft right here. So go to your options. So once you're in the game, just click escape, options, resource packs, 
Here you have all your resource packs, okay. All you have to do is go to your downloads folder, right? Copy the resource pack you want, click this arrow up there again, and just paste it in, right? So now it's with all your other resource packs. Pretty good. We can close all that. We don't need this. And now we are in Minecraft. So find the resource pack you downloaded only. There you go. Here it is. We have glowing mobs and it's up to find only, supposedly. But with this, with ETF, it's not up to find only. And you can really edit anything you want. This is a very simple edit, but it just makes mobs glow, makes them easier to see. But that's just one of the things this can do. In reality, with uh, ETF, you can really change anything you want from like entity models. You can even make your skin glow and stuff. It's really, really cool. There's a lot of things to this mod. And overall, yeah, it's a really good mod. And yeah, in this video, uh, I showed you how to get entity textures uh, via, um, into Minecraft 1.21.4. Uh, and it was, you know, it's quite, it's quite easy, but that's kind of how you do it. With mod menu, you also have this mod here. You can really change a lot of things about it. Here it is, a sheep, for example. It's very, very compact, but overall, that's how we get this mod ETF onto Minecraft 1.21.3. And yeah, so if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like, and see you for the next one. Bye.